Oh, hey. It's made it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> But is it at least furious? Okay, who's read their Bible this week? You don't have to raise your hands. Dylan, you don't have to raise your hand, buddy. We all know that you read. That's awesome. You can put your hand, you can put your hand down. Thank you. Thank you. If you haven't, though, unlike Dylan, then from this day forward, I want us to renew a commitment between us and the Lord. I want us to start our morning with a commitment to the Lord. And I know it can be hard because you're putting your makeup on, you're getting ready, you're getting dressed, having your cereal, taking a shower, or I certainly hope you're taking a shower. Please take a shower. And deodorant's good too. Anyway, the Bible talks about putting on the armor of God which is so important because the armor of God is our first defense against the enemy and his attacks and everything that the world wants to throw at you. And if you go into battle without your armor, you'll be caught naked on the battlefield and you won't have any protection at all. I want us all to try something, to take five minutes spending time with the Lord, spending time in his word, being prepared for the battle that lies ahead. So just stop rest before the Lord, spend some time with him, I know is gonna change your lives completely. A good place to start is the Gospel of John. So let's do this together, big challenge. Let's seek the Lord together every day. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Alex? Hey. David, I got the craziest news. Uh, can it wait? I'm busy. Nope. Devin's throwing his end of the year rager this weekend. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about it later. We need to get in. Everyone is going to be there. I'm sure you'll be invited. You always bring the guac. It's like free admission. Dude, this party is everything. If we're not there, we're losers. All right, I'll talk to Devin. I'll see him at lunch. All right, I gotta go. Bye. <sighs> All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. The village is under attack. Will you respond? Assemble the council. At ease. Eavesdrop yielding espionage spy. What intel have you gathered? Sir, I have gone undetected in their midst. I have found an army of 700 cavalry, 200 infantry, and 100 archers. They're approaching our flank now. Thank you. What defense do we have? Sir, we have defense, but our west flank is exposed. How much time do we have? Two minutes. We've got to protect that flank. No, we need to face them head on. The panda's right. This is no time for arguing. We move the archers to the west and hope that the infantry we have is enough to hold off the main army. Sir, the flank has been defended. Their army's in retreat. tomorrow.
Haley? Are you busy right now? Uh, kind of. Well, this is more important. Can you find out what Alex thinks about me and let me know? Uh, ask him yourself. Can't you just put in a good word for me since you're his best friend and he's just so dreamy and athletic and- Stop, please. Can't you just find out if he likes me and let me know? <sighs> Fine, I'll ask him, but Oh, I... thank you, David. Also, uh, did you get number 28 on the math homework? Math homework? What math homework? Do it later. Oh, hey, David, you're here early. How's the hamster? He's the bell of the ball. Well, hey, grab a chair. Why don't you help me set up? Uh, I tried what uh, you were talking about last week with uh, reading the Bible and all. Yeah? How, how'd it go? Uh, you know, not great. I mean, there were just so many distractions. Well, where were you doing it? Uh, in my living room on the couch. Have you tried to go to a different room? One that you could maybe focus better in? I mean, I can try. John. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness. Speaking of... Alex. Dude, I'm busy. You're gonna want to hear this. Alright, fine. What is it? Space Killer 2709 just dropped a new season. What? Oh yeah. I hear the Glorforbs are invading the homeworld. But Speck made a treaty with the Glorforbs. Dude, Speck dies. There's no way! He's the best character! No... Captain Lurk is definitely better. Commander Lurk has nothing on Speck. Uh, he was promoted, and he keeps two plasma grenades in his belt and has rocket boots. Who? You don't need rocket boots when you're as smart as Speck is. All he has is his brain and those tiny little elf ears. Fine, whatever. Yeah, you remember that scene where Captain Lurk is fighting the alien mercenary who just rush <laughs> Yeah, and then Lurk is all like, I'm not a killer. Too bad for you. But for you, I'll make an exception. Bam! Bam! <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Exactly. <laughs> That's why he is the best character. Uh, I guess. Maybe if when Speck is dead. You know, you should come over tonight. We'll watch the first episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. All right, I'll, I'll see, see you. you then. Where was I? David, hurry up. I need to go. Give me a minute. Come in. Hey, David. Hey. I saw you at my game last night. Yeah, you guys were awesome. <laughs> yeah, we barely pulled through. <laughs> well, hey, now that you're here, I wanted to ask you how your Bible reading's going. I, you know, it's going. I mean, it's always one thing than the next. Like, Alex called me, right? And he's, uh, he's not sure if he's gonna be invited to a party. And, like, obviously he's gonna be invited. Like, he always brings the guac. He's the guac guy. Exactly. And then Haley, right, calls me about Alex and is wondering if he likes her. And it's like, she's just gonna ask him herself. Relationships are hard. I even went on the toilet one day just to like get away. Uh, but you know, that didn't really work either. That's an, it's an interesting strategy. But hey, I was reading Matthew 5. And what it was talking about was if something causes you to sin, to cut it off. And I was thinking about, about you and, and, you know, not that you have to cut off an arm or gouge out an eye or anything like that, literally. But if something's causing you to, to be held back in your relationship with God or is moving you to a place of sin, maybe it's really good to recognize that and to cut it off so that he can fill that gap. So he can fill the gap. 
David. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, uh, it's Alex. It's so funny. <laughs> well, did you have your phone with you on the toilet when you were trying to meet with God? Yeah, probably. And what about the couch? I think so, yeah. Do you always have your phone on you? Yeah, why not? Well, what if you tried this? What if when you were trying to meet with the Lord, you set your phone aside or turned it off completely? But uh, what if someone needs to call me? What if they can wait? And what if Jesus is trying to call you and you're not answering him because you're too busy with your phone or with something else? Huh. Give me peace on the pathway Little light to see Think I'm finally learning Let you lead me where I should be So give me peace on the pathway Guide me on my way Lamp light to lead me Little closer to your way 